guys, so this is my submission for the top 30 of the Australian NYX Face Awards. The theme we were given was avant-garde and I chose to do the Japanese artist Kusama. I started by making the headpiece out of foil, just scrunching it up to make tentacle shapes and then coating those with a layer of latex which allowed me to paint it. Once the layers of liquid latex were dry, I then gave the tentacles a coat of red paint. And then proceeded to put white dots on all of the tentacles. Kusama is famous for her polka dots, so I thought it was fitting to cover everything with polka dots. My goal was to mimic her aesthetic by using larger dots, going into smaller dots and then back out into larger dots. Once all the dots were dry, I used a hot glue gun and just stuck them to a headband. I then used a NYX eyeliner in grey to outline the portrait of Kusama. I did a cross to mark out where her facial features would be and just outlined each of the features. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a basic outline at this stage. It just gives a rough idea of where everything will go to make sure everything fits in. I then started to add some highlights to the portrait with the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Chardonnay Shimmer. And then went in with the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Maui Suntan, adding the shadows of the face. Using a fluffy brush, I just blended these together and then kept adding and blending until I was happy. Next, I used the brown from the Surreal My Heart palette to start deepening the shadows of the face. This adds some contour and makes the face a bit more 3D. I was using several reference photos of Kusama's face and making sure that I was adding shadows to the correct areas. And then I went in with the black from the Surreal My Heart palette to deepen the shadows further. the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk to add the whites of Kusama's eyes. I used a brush to paint these in just to get into the corners and be a bit more precise. Adding a little bit to the nose and the cheeks and above the eyes. I then coloured in the pupils of the eyes using the brown from the Surreal My Heart palette and then added some more detail with the black and more shadowing around the eye. I was just constantly looking at the reference photos and adding deeper shadows where I thought it needed it. Kusama has this crease under her lips, so I was adding that in as well. And contouring the nose using the eyeshadows to get the correct shape.
I used the brown and black from the Cyril My Heart palette to add in her eyebrows. And the creases that she has running from the corners of her mouth up to the nose. Then used a white water activated paint to paint in the waterline and highlight her eyes a bit more. I used the NYX Liquid Suede Lip Cream in Kitten Heels to paint in her lips and used the black eyeshadow from the Surreal My Heart palette to add some shadowing around the lips. I then used a black water activator paint to add some more detail on her eyes. And also her nose. And her lips. I used the white from the Surreal My Heart palette to add some highlights on her lips. I then painted in Kusama's hair using the NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels. started adding the highlights to the hair using the white from the Surreal My Heart palette. I added shadows as well using the black from the Surreal My Heart palette. And used a white water activator paint to add the final highlights to Kusama's hair. I wasn't happy with the shape of her hair on my neck, so I just added a little bit more of the lip cream and some more highlighting. Next, I used a yellow water activated paint to paint in my torso and around Kusama's portrait. I use a large brush for this and you need to contort a little bit to get around the sides. I started using the NYX Super Fat Eye Marker to outline where I wanted the dots to be, but I quickly realised that this was going to take a long time. So I changed quite quickly to to black water activated paint and a largish round brush and it made it go so much faster. So I just painted rows of dots, starting out with a large dot and then going smaller and then back out to bigger again. Kusama does that in a lot of her work, a lot of repetition. Dots, 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 dots. I added a drop shadow to the portrait using the black from the Surreal My Heart palette and a fluffy brush, just to make it stand out a bit more from the dots. And then I thought that I was looking a bit 2D, so I added some contouring using the same black from the Surreal My Heart palette. I added contouring to my cleavage, my collarbone, and my jawline. I then used a white water activator paint to paint a line around the portrait to make it stand out a bit more. And then added some dots. Because really, there weren't enough dots already. I then 
primed my face using the NYX Angel Veil Skin Primer and added the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in colour Vanilla. I then use the NYX Full Coverage Concealer under my eyes and then painted the NYX eyeshadow base on top of each eyelid and blended it in with my finger. I then painted on the NYX Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Kitten Heels and used a dark red from the NYX Sweet Chicks Blush Palette to set that on my eyelids. I then used the black from the Surreal My Heart palette to add some shadow to my eyelids, blending it as much as you can. I then applied the NYX eyeshadow base in a triangle from the eyelid and used a brush to dab on the yellow from the Surreal My Heart palette. Next, I used the NYX Super Fat Eye Marker on my eyes and applied a little white from the Surreal My Heart palette to the corners of my eyes. I then used a yellow water activated paint to contour my hairline, my jawline, I painted my ears. That shiz is everywhere. And then I used a black water activated paint to apply a dotty stencil to my face. Just starting with the hairline and just filling in where I thought dots should go. I also use that same stencil on top of my eyelids to add a little bit of detail there. And then use the NYX Bright Idea Illuminating Stick in Lavender Lust to add a bit of illumination on my forehead, nose and cheekbones. I then used the same NYX Liquid Suede in Kitten Heels for my lips. And used the NYX Faux Lashes on my eyes natural lashes before applying the falsies. And that is done. I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. And if you like it, give me a thumbs up. And if you want to help me get to the next round of the NYX Face Awards, I would really love if you could go and vote for me. All details on how to go about voting will be down below. So please, 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 Vote for me, please. <laughs> Bye.